The Fall Guy. Ryan Gosling plays a stuntman hired by a studio to go find the missing actor of a movie being directed by the love of his life in hopes of not only saving the movie, but also winning her back. So Fall Guy is directed by David Leitch, who was once a stuntman in Hollywood himself. And it's very clear when you watch this movie, and David Leitch and Ryan Gosling have talked about it publicly, this is basically a love letter to the stunt workers in Hollywood, the history of stunt work done in Hollywood. And my favorite parts of this movie, and the best parts in my opinion of this movie, is when they are paying the homages, when they're giving their respect to the unsung heroes, as they call them, giving the voice to the voiceless in Hollywood. There are a lot of moments in this movie movie where we actually see a lot of behind the scenes of the filming of this movie that Emily Blunt is working on and as someone who loves filmmaking as someone who loves movies I loved the way that this movie showed us behind the scenes of the movie it felt like they were filming the making of the movie as they were making the movie and the making of the movie was just put into the movie as the movie and with that you get a lot of look not just into how sets work and how the industry works but you also get to see the behind the scenes of the stunts which is also kind of meta in a way because the stunts in the movie are also the stunts that you see in the movie but you see in how they're being done in the movie it's actually really cool how they were able to incorporate the making of this movie into the movie I thought it was brilliant on top of that you do get some great David Leach action that you're used to getting in his movies and yes the stunt work within the movie itself even when we're off the set of the making of the movie is really good here. I mean, there are so many thrilling and exciting sequences in this movie that, that I really enjoyed watching. And there's also a lot of moments in this movie that in the trailer to me looked kind of CGI-ish and they were kind of worrying me about whether or not this was going to feel as practical and as real as I wanted it to. And I'm happy to say that in the movie, the stunts and the action do feel that way to me. They felt practical. They felt real. In fact, in the end credit sequences, they show the making of the movie, the actual movie, and they show the stunt work that's being done and the whole movie being this love letter being this homage and speaking up for the stunt work that's been done in Hollywood movies since they began all of that worked incredibly well for me also it worked for me Emily Blunt and Ryan Gosling I thought they were really good in this movie I mean the movie doesn't give too much to their love story I, you do get backstory you do get little flashbacks and hints into what their relationship was like but really the whole romance here hinges on the chemistry between Emily Blunt and Ryan Gosling and they they just had really natural great chemistry together you just couldn't help but like to see them on screen and I enjoyed watching their relationship in this movie so on top of this movie being a romance movie of Ryan Gosling's character trying to win back Emily Blunt this is also a movie where he gets wrapped up with some sketchy evil people as he is searching for this actor that has mysteriously gone missing from this movie set and when this movie is focusing on the romance story between Emily Blunt and Ryan Gosling I thought it was good when it's focusing on the story of Ryan Gosling looking for this actor getting mixed up in all these situations with these people I thought it was decent but the movie doesn't blend them very well to me I feel like this movie had a very strong pacing issue for me because of the way they decided to go about with the narrative because the first hour of this movie they almost exclusively stick you with Ryan Gosling and Emily Blunt they stick to the romance story and it's not really till the second half of the movie that they really start to go into the missing of the actor in the movie which by breaking it up into these almost sections I did feel like the story naturally intertwined with each other and it also makes the movie feel way too long this movie I feel needed about 15 to 20 minutes shaved off of it and there's a lot of places where they probably could have done that but I do have the sense that there is a lot of stunt work done in this movie and with a movie about stunt work and paying homage and respect to stunt work I felt like they probably felt obligated not to cut down too much on the stunts on the action that's in this movie and to me there were a couple moments where I do feel like it could have used a cut it could have ended a little bit sooner along with some of the scenes because some of these scenes I mean the humor in this movie and the humor is all subjective as humor always is but there's a lot of moments in this movie where you can tell there's improvisation there's a lot of scenes that are being improv on the spot and those kind of scenes for me they are always hit and miss because sometimes they work sometimes they make me laugh and sometimes it just feels like okay stop with the yes and stop with the yes and someone needs to say no at some point the scene needs to end and there were quite a few moments in this movie especially with Ryan Gosling and Emily Blunt, where it kind of felt like, okay, this is cute for now, but okay, we're wrapping it up. The, the joke's wearing thin. It's not funny so much anymore. 
And a lot of the humor in this, I didn't actually find all that funny. I might have chuckled here and there. There is one great bit, though, that involves a unicorn. That's all I'll say is that it involves a unicorn, and I thought that it was the best gag in the entire film. Also, for me, the movie, kind of predictable. I'm not going to sit here and lie and say that I guessed every little thing that was going to happen because that wouldn't be true. But there were a lot of things and a lot of characters that I was like, "That's that they're going to end up being this. Oh, look at that. They did that. And I'm pretty sure they're going to do this. Oh, and they just did it. Which isn't necessarily the movie's fault, but it is part of the experience that I had. Because this movie is kind of formulaic. You have seen this type of movie. At least I've seen this type of movie many, many, many times. So it's not like this is breaking that much new ground. But what this movie does do as I mentioned before excellently, is the stunt work, is the action, is talking about how stunt work is so underappreciated, not just in Hollywood, but to the audience as well. There's a lot of talk in this movie about how there's no Oscars for stunt work and how, you know, stunt people, they can just kind of go through life invisible because the audience, no one's going to recognize them. They're not important. And I felt like Fall Guy was more focused on trying to get that message across and commentate on that than they were with telling their story a lot of the times. Which for me was a bit of a bummer because it did make this movie drag a little bit more than I wanted it to. But in the end, a lot of these are just kind of my grumpy nitpicks because I did have a good time watching The Fall Guy. Where it needs to succeed, I felt it succeeded. The stunt work was great. The action was great. Ryan Gosling, Emily Blunt, Aaron Taylor Johnson, Hannah Waddingham, they were all great. I loved all the performance. Winston Duke is in this as well. Little shout out to him. He was also very good. It wasn't the home run I was hoping to get from it, but it did provide the fun time that I was wanting to get. And so for that reason, I am going to recommend The Fall Guy. I think it's a really fun action flick. I think it is flawed. I don't think it's perfect. I don't think it's great. I don't really have much of a desire to see it again anytime soon. But for a first time viewing, I enjoyed my time. Anyways, those are all my thoughts and opinions on The Fall Guy. What did you think of Fall Guy? Did you like it more than me? Did you like it about as much? Have you watched the series from the 80s? Comment down below. Let me know. I want to hear all your thoughts and opinions about that, guys. And if you're new here and you haven't heard, we have a goal on this channel. We want to hit 4,000 subscribers before the end of the year. If you like talking movies, we do that all the time. We'd love to have you join our community over here. Consider hitting that subscribe button before you make your way out. As always, guys, thank you so much for hearing me out. And I hope to talk to you guys again real soon.